for the baby formula shortage getting worse in Northern California. Sacramento is now ranked as the hardest hit metro area in the country. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Curtis Ming. I'm Adrienne Moore. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento. While formula is being shipped to the U.S. and that baby formula plant is up and running again, local families tell us tonight they cannot wait. And CBS 13 Shante Passmore is live in Sacramento. What parents say the struggle is real. Shante? Yeah, by now, most of us are aware that stores are placing limits on buying formula there. And we know that parents are relying on family and friends to help them find product. But as one pediatrician tells me, some parents are following dangerous ideas. Oh, there he goes. Ten month old Georgie isn't shy. He also has a strong grip. Careful. To keep him healthy and strong, his mother is hunting for formula. When I go to the store, I definitely try to get more than, you know, one or two cans of formula because of the, you know, shortage. Sometimes families are buying any brand. I don't want to hoard formula either because I know people are doing that, but yeah, just grabbing one or two cans when I can. Data shows the baby formula shortage in Sacramento reached a grim benchmark. Bloomberg reports one in five states is 90% out of baby formula. Using numbers from research firm Data Assembly, Sacramento's out of stock rate is at 95%, by far the worst shortage in any metro area across America. But yes, you may have to go to the store every day to look for a can here and there or really employ the use of family and friends. Stockton pediatrician Dr. Crystal Balduzzi is accepting donations for distribution, even to non-patients. Sometimes parents swap formulas to avoid upset stomachs. Younger babies are definitely more sensitive to formula changes. Older babies, I think, do much better. Yeah. Back at this park, moms are trying to remain hopeful the shortage ends soon. I don't really know how we're making it, but we are. And Dr. Balduzzi says she knows that some parents are actually making their own formula, which she says no one should ever do. And recently, she even had to care for newborn twins who were only being fed. And listen to this closely just water and rice. That's not hardly enough for a growing baby. The takeaway if you're struggling with the shortage, contact your pediatrician.